understanding place value. This is our third lesson in second grade. So hopefully you're finding these videos helpful. Um, I'm having a good time making them for you guys. So here we go. So here's our common core strand for our most awesome teachers and be nice to your teacher. And then our essential question is how do we know the value of a digit? Okay, so here we're going to talk about the ones digits and the tens digits. Okay, so hopefully um, uh, your teacher has some base 10 blocks. If not, we'll just talk about them here. Here's some base 10 blocks. So this is a one block right here. This is a 10 block because there's 10 of these one blocks right here. This is a hundred block. We won't talk about this today. Uh, and this is a thousand block right here. There's actually a thousand of these little guys inside of here, and there's a hundred of them inside of here. Today we're just talking about the ones blocks and the tens blocks. Here's another uh, base ten blocks right here, and I know those don't look as as good as these guys right here. Those ones look nice. Hopefully you have some of those in your classroom. Um, uh, but your, I noticed your uh, our practice workbooks has uh, these kind of cheapo ones looking in here. So anyway, um, uh, we're going to be uh, working with these ones mostly right here. Okay. So today we're working with the ones and the tens right here. Okay. So typically we're going to draw like little circles for the ones block, and then just draw a straight line. Uh, we call it a stick, but a straight line for the tens block right there. We'll talk more about that in just a second. So here we go. Tyler collects baseball cards. The number of cards cards that he has written uh, has a with a two and a five okay so how many cards might Tyler have okay so so what we're gonna do is um, uh, uh, write the numbers and then choose a way to show those numbers so so it's kind of it's kind of hard to understand what they're asking here so Tyler has baseball cards so he eat and he has the cards um, the number of cards either has a two that they have a two and a five in it so it's either two five or five two right there so we can write it like that two five and then this is the tens digit this one right here and this is called the ones digit so same over here if we put the five right here and the two right here then the five is in the tens spot and the two is in the one spot right here okay over here the five is in the one spot and the two is in the ten spot this spot is the tens this spot is the ones and that's uh, pretty much today's lesson right there so now let's uh, uh, choose a way to show these numbers okay so we're going to use the base ten blocks right here so here's 25 okay there's two tens so here's two tens right here and five ones so the ones are these little uh, small little cubes right here so here's five ones and here's two tens this says we're gonna have five tens we're gonna have five of these uh, sticks right here and then two and then uh, two of these little guys right here so here's five sticks and two ones right here okay so so with base 10 blocks this says 25 and then this says 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, so 52. There's five tens and then two ones right there, okay? All right, so explain why the value five is different in the two numbers, okay? So here's the two numbers right here. Here, the value five represents these five ones, and here the value five represents these five tens, or 50 right here. So when, when the five is in the ones place, its value is five ones, or just five. And when the five is in the, the tens place, its value is five tens, or 50, okay? All right, so the uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9 are called digits. Okay, so in a two-digit number, we know the value of, uh, the, of a digit by its place. Okay, so here we have 64. This 6 is in the tens position. So here is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 tens. And the 4 is in the ones position. So here's 4 ones right here. So the digit 6 is in the tens place. I'm reading this right here. Um, it tells us that there are 6 tens or 60 in the digit 4. Four, okay, the digit four is in the ones place, and it tells us there are four ones or four. So here this says this is six tens or sixty. This says four ones or four, so this is sixty plus four or sixty-four. Six tens, four ones, so sixty plus four gives us sixty-four right there, okay? Alright, so circle the value of the red digit here, okay? So here uh, this red digit is in the ones spot, so there are six ones or six. So we're going to go ahead and circle that six right there. 
here. This two is in the tens spot, so there's two tens. So here, see the two tens right here? So two tens is going to give us 20 right there, okay? 10 plus 10 is 20. All right, this one is in the ones spot, so this stands for just one. So we're going to go ahead and circle the one right here. This is in the tens spot, so this is going to be four tens, 10, 20, 30, 40. So it's going to represent the 40 right there, okay? All right, we can draw sticks, which are straight lines for tens blocks. So this is how we do it on a piece of paper. Just draw a straight line that represents 10, and then just draw a little dot or a small circle, and that'll represent our ones right there, okay? So here, using sticks and dots, which are, we'll use small circles, how would you draw a quick picture for 57, okay? So Jill says, I would draw five ones right here and seven tens okay so here's five ones and seven tens jack says no no um uh i think you should draw five tens here's five tens and seven ones like this who is correct okay all right well we have to look at here this is in the tens spot this is in the ones spot so here's the correct answer five is in the tens position and seven is in the ones position so we need we need these five tens right here and we need the seven ones so it looks like jack is going to be correct all right all right you guys i hope that lesson makes sense hope you're having a great year and be nice to your teachers take care